Okay, how you guys doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. All right, so I've been doing a lot of video demonstrations on how to utilize or paint, and you have to think outside the box on how you want to design your screen. So it's not hard. You can think outside the box. It means go to Home Depot, Lowe's, wherever you want. You can choose any surface you want and turn it into a screen. So I have companies who contact me and say, hey, look, we want to do this giant banner. We want to do this giant screen. We want to put it in our church or office or you know, whatever business establishment you want to put it in. This also includes people that are doing their homes. If you're doing your homes, you want a home theater and your living room, you can't rent, say you're renting and you can't paint on your walls. Well, you can build your own fixed frame projection screen. I've built several over here. They're very easy to put together. Uh, I'll put a link at the bottom of the video uh, demonstration to see exactly uh, the tutorial video. I show you exactly how easy it is to build these screens and the information on where to get the, the pieces at to put it together. It's very easy. Okay, so say you're a church or a large establishment you want the or your your church or whatever business you're doing and you want to do these screens on a larger scale so say if you can't paint the surface maybe you want to use a larger surface so the best way to go with this is this is a heavy vinyl material i used this before but it didn't play well with the chemical we're using this particular chemical it does play very very well with as a matter of fact this is the same material here that's actually here is the exact same that camera strap out of the way is the exact same identical material as in here and here except for this one's actually coated black now um, with this like I said it makes it easier for customers to actually design their own screen because we don't have to ship out on a roll or fold it and that way the service doesn't get uh, damaged in the way of shipping this allows you to be to take your screen stretch it out any way you, how you want to and coat it with our surface and you're done so your screen doesn't get damaged in shipping all right so these particular um, surfaces right here will allow you to be able to paint uh, screen sizes and your business or if you're doing like an outside event or so forth um, mind you the material is mold and mildew resistant so it's completely weatherproof and this particular surface will allow you to be able to um, paint a surface I think some of these surfaces are like 30 by 50 feet they're really big you can get them big and get them small this is a small one this is probably about 5 by 10 feet now just for kicks and giggles at the bottom of the video comment section if you're interested in doing a great big huge platform screen and using our crystal witch technology screen paint which is absolutely freaking amazing um, I'll put a link in the bottom of the video description uh, of a company where you can actually go and buy these now just to let you know that the shipping time is a little long by about four to five days because they actually have to fabricate fabricate these screens but yeah so using our crystal witch technology screen paint basically when you apply it any surface looks amazing and it's not hard to do so for those of you that are thinking like all right this is going to be really hard to do let me show you how easy this demonstration is um okay so like i said same surface got this on a piece of board a piece of wooden board behind there's wooden board right there and we are just going to take our paint roller and here's our paint roller right here you don't need a particular paint roller some people say like look you need this smooth paint roller you can use any form of standard paint roller will work with our screen paint it's designed to be easy so this is just to show you how you're going to do this this is something else this right here is a form of uh of eight way stretchable blackout cloth that we put in with our one quart two quart and one gallon kits uh, just to add real quick that the one quart kit will come with a surface that is four feet high 13 feet long this is it right here at four feet high and eight feet long also too uh, with the two quarts which will paint up to 120 to 150 uh, you get a surface that's 75 inches high and 12 feet long and then with the big boy screen the big 180 you will get a surface that's nine feet high by 12 feet long now those of you that are curious and thinking why is it so long why is it 12 and 13 feet long because we give you the option to choose your own ratio size whether it be 4.3 1610 i'm sorry 16 9 16 10 235.1 or 239.1 just to let you know if you're doing 120 inch or 100 and if you're doing 150 inch at 239.1 Instead of your screen being 75 inches high, it has to be 61, just to let you know that, and just keep it at the length that it is. All right, so I'm going to do this demonstration really quick on here, and we're just going to roll the screen. I started already. I'm going to take my paint as usual, and I'm just going to drop some right there. I can just drop this all over the screen. It makes no difference. All right, take my roller here, and I'm just going to go over my screen. Yeah. 
If I get anything that doesn't look right, any little any dirt or dust on my screen, I just do that. And that's basically about it. Now these screens are completely foolproof. When I mean foolproof, in some of the demonstrations that you watch, they want you to go up and down in a robot formation in order to apply the screens to prevent from having any streak marks. That's something you don't have to worry about when it comes to our screen paint. You can pretty much paint the screen any way you want to. It's up to you. Now if you get something in your screen that don't look right, just take your finger, run it across, take it out. You don't have to worry about saying, hey look, if I do this, I'm going to get streak marks on my screen and it's not going to look nice. You don't have to worry about that, okay? So the same way I'm painting this screen is the same way I painted all the screens in here. All these screens in here, I'm painting them all the same way. This is how I do it. You know, here, 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 any direction I want. And look how smooth it just goes on, no problem. So the screen is completely foolproof. You're, you're downstairs painting your screen, and your dog runs across your screen. You don't have to worry about saying, oh, he just messed my screen up. No. It's foolproof. Your kid is out there helping you paint your screen, and he decides that he wants to make, he wants to scribble all through your screen. You don't have to worry about it. You just paint right over it. Now see how, how fast it's going to do this? Now watch this. Look at the sneakers. Completely foolproof. Like you cannot mess the screen up. It's impossible. You can't mess the screen up. See, the problem is, is when Goose Screen came out, they were telling people that yeah, you had to put a perfect coat application on your roller, and if you did this and did that, you would mess up your screen. If you had any imperfections in your wall, you had, literally you had to sand your wall down till it was perfectly flat. Because if you didn't, and you had any imperfections in the wall, this would show up on the screen. With this screen paint, that's impossible. So, that's it. You see me walk across my screen, all right? Right over it. That's it, we're done. There's my footprints right there showing that my feet just walk right across the screen. There we go. That's it. So it's completely foolproof. There is no way in the world you can mess the screen. I can take my foot and I can drag it right along the side of the screen and mess it up. Take my roller, go right back over it. There's no way, completely foolproof. This proves to you that there is no way that you can make a mistake painting your screen. Impossible. Impossible. Take my fingers, I can do this, I can do that, I can write my name in if I want to. That's not my name, but you get what I'm getting at. Roll right over it. If your kids come downstairs and they draw on your screen or there's spill, food spilled on your screen and you figure a way, okay, I got to sand the whole thing down, prime it all over again. No, you just wash off the area that got messed up, you know, because you don't want the screen smelling like food and you just paint over it. That's it. We're done. So my screen's done already. Hold that up. I'll put that over there. And let me see if I can grab something. Got a big bucket of my paint right here. Okay. Of course, I'm going to mess up the top part of the screen because I just grabbed the top of it. All right, there we go. See, I got smudged the crap out of that. Just going to grab my roller. Let's move it off a little bit. Let's go over it and jack up my camera. Sorry about that. I hold it because I don't want to jack my camera up. All right, I probably got paint on my camera. I don't care. All right, we put that over there. Uh, take this off the projector. And like I said, paint's going to be a little wet. So, hmm, yeah, it's going to be a little wet. I want to bring it down a little farther. I might bring it up a little closer. Sorry about that, guys. If I got the camera all over the place, I do apologize. Bring the projector down a little bit more. There we go. I want to get a good shot of everything. And we'll start our... Don't 
illustration right there. Now mind you, there's our screen. Same screen, got a spotlight now on it. It's the same screen we walked all through. Smeared my hand all through it. And it's wet, look how, look how beautiful it looks. Take out the spotlight. Very easy to do. Completely foolproof. I just walked across the screen. You got some people that'll tell you, like, look, if you paint your screen, it has to have a perfect application on the roller. You have to make sure that you don't press heavy on the paint roller because that'll leave streaks in your screen. No streaks. Streak free. 100% streak free. Doesn't make a difference what kind of roller that you use. Doesn't make a difference if it's smooth or it's a nap roller. Doesn't make a difference. You're gonna get a perfect picture every time. Doesn't make a difference what surface you use. And like I said, you got a lot of lighting in your environment. I can turn this on. This is a 100 watt spotlight that's hitting my screen directly. And we got another one right in the ceiling. Another light right there. Angle gain of our screen looks fantastic. <coughs> Sorry about that. So like I said, if you got any fears, because some people have fears when it comes to painting the screen. They don't want to mess it up. They don't want to make any mistakes. It's very easy to use our Crystal Ish technology screen paints. Literally, you watch me walk across this screen, run my hands all through it, just paint right back over it and I'm done. Doesn't make a difference what direction you're painting, how heavy you press on the roller, what kind of roller that you're using. Doesn't make a difference. this. I'll take my lights out. See how amazing this screen is going to look with the lights out. Come over here real quick. Now what you're seeing is that glare that's coming up the screen. That's the light that's actually reflecting off the light bulb that I have in the back. But like I said the screen is still wet mind you. Angle gain on my screen. Say you want a good quality screen paint. Like I said, you don't see demonstrations like this on YouTube. You don't see people walking through their screens and doing stuff like this because, you know, like I said, I like to show you exactly the capability of what our screens can do. And this is painted on a piece of heavy vinyl, that same piece of vinyl, sorry about that, that's right here on the floor, same material. You see how fast it took me, I'm gonna walk across this real quick. You see how fast it took me to paint that in. Spotlight again. Woo, it fell over in this bad boy. All right, there's spotlight hitting my screen. Look at my screen. Lights on, lights off. Doesn't make a difference. Screen looks fantastic. Look at the quality. Not one streak, one mark. Absolutely a perfect picture. That's what you want. Okay, guys. Well, let me get over here real quick. Get all this wrapped up real fast. 
And so I showed you guys exactly how easy it is that you can actually, you know, paint your own screens with using our Crystal H technology screen paint. It's not hard to do, it's very easy to use. It's completely foolproof, there's no way you can make a mistake. But mind you, this surface right here would probably cost you somewhere maybe like $15, $16. This is probably about, open this up a bit, open this all the way up. It's a pretty big surface as you can see, the surface is just really big. This is about five feet by 10 feet. This is the size of the surface, five feet by 10 feet. So this is really big. And it's already got the um, tension loops already embedded in the screen. So if you wanna use this for an outdoor uh, projection screen, if you wanna use this for a tension frame, these are perfect for tension frames. If you wanna use this for outdoor or any kind of form of conventions. If you're doing a convention or anything you're doing, it basically requires a large screen, especially a tension screen like this. You can use our Crystal Waste Technology screen paints to paint right over top of this and get a high performance projection screen as you see on this screen right here. Okay guys, well, I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology projection screens using Smart Technology Game. I hope you all enjoyed this video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for watching. You know, I might consider, I'm thinking about it right now, I might consider designing a business package uh, for people who want to paint large caliber screens especially if they're going to be doing it for um, conventions and showings and stuff like that so I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about we might do that we might do a business package I guess these will come in like gallon sizes and so forth. there's a whole lot of stuff going through my head right now but like I said you know we can you know I'm always always wondering how I can give somebody a better deal you know what I mean it excites me to know that I'm, I'm doing something to give somebody back something better you know what I mean it's no point in you going out and spending all this money for these high-end projection screens you know we can just do it for so much cheaper okay guys I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration thank you again all for watching uh, please like and subscribe you know what I mean because I got some really cool other demonstrations I'm going to be doing showing you different ways I can basically design some really cool projection screens I can't wait to really get started on uh, the rest of these projects thank you all for watching